Next, we're going to look at some work rate problems. And we're going to talk about mowing a lawn first. Seems pretty practical. We've all done it. And we can calculate these different values. So if I could mow half of a lawn in one hour, how much of the lawn will be mowed after each of these time intervals? So I'm going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Seems like it's easiest to go in that order. So I can mow half of a lawn in one hour. If I work for two hours, how much of the lawn is going to be mowed? The entire thing. Since I know my two hours times how my rate, how fast I can actually mow the lawn, I've got half of the lawn per hour, gives me out two times a half, one. One lawn, the entire thing is going to be done. What about if I work for one hour? It's given to us, basically. I can mow half of the lawn in one hour. So I know one hour times my rate. I can do half of a lawn in an hour. I know that I'm going to be left with half of my lawn done. If I only work for half an hour, how much of the lawn is going to be finished? A fourth of it, since I know a half times a half gives me a fourth. One fourth of the lawn. And if I'm only working for a fourth of an hour, 15 minutes, how much of my lawn is going to be mowed then? Only an eighth of that lawn. Since one half of an hour times one fourth of an hour, well, lawn per hour gives me one eighth of the lawn. And in each of these cases, we can see what's happening. My units, hour divided by hour, they're canceling, and I'm left with lawn everywhere. Hour divided by hour, hour divided by hour. We get out that value. So how are we calculating these? So what's happening? I've got my hours worked. So how long I'm working for, two hours, one hour, half an hour, or a fourth of an hour. Oh, now they switched around, don't I? Fourth of an hour, and I can do half of a lawn. We still get the same value out. Okay. So now everything lines up. Half a lawn in an hour is what we're multiplying by. So the hours that I've worked, I multiply that by what? My rate. How much can I actually complete then? So my work rate. And what came out in the end? Either I did the entire job, half of the job, a fourth of the job, or an eighth of the job. So we get out a fractional part of the job done. Fractional part of the job done. So we want to use that relationship in order to solve some more of these application problems. So the hours that I've worked times my rate gives me out that fractional part of the job that's done. So let's use it. Charlie's Lawn Care has two three-person crews who lay sod. Crew A can lay seven skids of sod in four hours, while crew B requires six hours to do the same job. How long would it take them working together to lay seven skids of sod? So what are we being asked to solve for? How long would it take them working together? So we're trying to solve for time. So I'm going to let T be our unknown. T is the time worked together. I know eventually I'm solving for time. I'm going to have to report it in hours at the end. So what info do we know? Do I know the rates? at which these guys are working. No, but I know that crew A can lay seven skids of sod in four hours, and crew B requires six hours to do the same. So I know that crew A, how long are they working for? I'm going to start to build this relationship. So the hours that they've worked. Crew A, they worked four hours. And do we know anything about their rate? No. So their rate 
for crew A is going to be R with the subscript A. And what did they complete? Half of the job, the whole of the job, a fourth of the job, the entire thing. Seven skids is what we're dealing with throughout this entire example. So they completed the entirety of it. They finished one entire job or one entire lawn. So we could go ahead and solve for the rate of crew A. How do we get there? I need this thing on its own, so I need to divide both sides by 4. So I know their rate. Rate of crew A is 1 fourth. And for crew B, how long are they working for? They take 6 hours to do the same job. So again, we don't know any info about their rate, but I know that they're completing that same job. They're finishing it entirely. So what does that mean for the rate of crew B? How do we get there? 1 divided by 6 in this case. So they're doing less, they take longer to complete the job than the first crew. And how do we figure out how long it's going to take them working together? So how much of the job is the first crew going to do? So I know they're working at a rate of one-fourth. We can write that down instead of RA. They're working at a rate of one-fourth. And how long are they working for? T. We don't know how long they're working together, but we represented it by T. So this is going to be the amount of work coming out of crew A. But they're working together with crew B. So how much of the job is crew B going to get finished? They're working at a rate of one-sixth. And how long are they working for? However long. T. And they're working together. So how should I represent the relationship between the two? Operation we need to fill in is addition. So the amount of work that crew A is doing plus the amount of work that crew B is doing. And in the end, how much of the job are they to finish? The entire thing. And what do we do in this case? I have fractions and I want to get rid of them. So what is our LCD? We've got 4 which breaks into 2 and 2, 6 which breaks into 2 and 3. So my LCD needs to take into account 2 factors of 2, 1 factor of 3, which is 12. So we'll multiply every single term by 12. Don't forget about the one on the right. And we'll see what comes out. 12 divided by 4 gives me 3t. 12 divided by 6, 2t. And 1 times 12 gives me 12. So I've got 3 factors of t and 2 more. I've got 5 all together. And we can divide by 5 to get t on its own. But does it make sense to say 12 fifths of an hour? Not really, so we should do the division and report it as a decimal. 2.4 hours. More reasonable. So does that make sense? Crew A, they could finish the job in 4 hours. Crew B, they could finish the job in 6 hours. If they're working together, should it take them less time? I would hope so. And yeah, it's significantly shorter, 2.4 hours is the time they need to work together to get that job done. So on the next page, it kind of sums up that relationship that we just built. If I have two people doing a job, working together, how long is it going to take them? We have this setup. So suppose A is equal to the time it takes uh, cap A to do a job. Little b is the time that it takes big B to do the same job. So T is the time that it takes them to do the job working together, then that relationships hold. T divided by A plus T divided by B gives us 1. We had that set up, but we were a little bit more rigorous on how we got there.